This is one of the old one that I have. I'm gonna disassemble this one. The original one had a media button here. This one has CD. I'm gonna see if I can clean this. So first thing I'm gonna do is remove these locking clips here. This is just a plastic clip. It doesn't do anything other than mount. You can find a lot of these online. They're all identical. Once you remove these mounts, inside is all the same. Whether it has a media button or CD button, they're all the same. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to remove these torque screws here. So you're going to remove four screws. It's a T8. Next thing you're going to do is remove this back panel. It kind of hooks in this way, so first thing you're going to do is remove the locking caps on both sides. So you bend away this one and the other one, and you pull up like that and slide back out this way. So this little hook goes into here. Okay. So once you have it out, you can access this white locking cap here. You simply pull up. Be careful not to rip this ribbon cable. There's a little hole here. You simply pull up, so it comes apart. Now, next step you're going to do is you're going to separate this top. There's a locking caps here, two of them, and simply pull up, and it will come apart. Some are snug. If you have a lot of residue here from coke or coffee, it will be snug, but it will come apart like this. All right. So once you have them, most of the time people spill coffee or coke here, and these contacts go back. These rubber pad, there's a carbon black contacts here. So when we push it down, these make the contacts, and a lot of times they get frozen or residue here. You clean that. So you remove that, remove that. Next thing we're gonna do is remove this black cover. To do that, you need a sharp knife to start with. The four locking tabs you're gonna remove. So push one of these knife on one corner and gradually pop up. And it will come out. So they're not real strong plastic. They're thin plastic. As you can see, there's a locking tabs. It only goes in one way, so you don't have to worry about which way did I take out. It only fits in one way, so you don't have to worry about it. Once you have it out, you can, this is a T8. The center one is T6, I believe. Move this T6. And then remove this center plastic cap. Now, next step is a little tricky. You're going to simply pry this out. When you do that, you're going to lose a lot of these pins. And watch how this ribbon cable is into that groove here. And if you happen to... Take this out like this. If you happen to drop all these contacts, you don't have to panic. I'm going to take this out and show you how it goes in. So, there are two cut out here. One, another one. So, toward to the center these locking tabs goes into it straight down, like that. Okay, before we stick that into that hole, I wanna show you something. These contacts, sometimes they get real dirty because they spill something on it. So get sharp razor blade like this, and just simply scrape the contacts like that and make sure it's nice shiny. If you look at it, the middle pin is bent further inward than these outer ones. So I usually just bend them out all evenly. It gives you better contact. And once you clean all that out, Put this back in here like this. So you got four contacts and make sure they're all clean. So once you clean that, get that on the side. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lift this up like this. And then we're gonna separate this and inspect the bottom board. If you look at it here, there's a lot of white powder looking. That's all frozen from spilling coffee or something. So clean all that. To do that, you can use WD-40 or any silicone-based spray and spray that and clean it with a brush like this. I'm not going to reuse it because I already replaced it. I'm just showing you how you can clean it. So make sure there is no residue on the bottom and the top board. So once you clean that all out, you can put it back in. Okay, so assume everything's all cleaned up. Put everything back in is reversed. So this goes in first. This goes in second. Then, I'm going to put this 
this white piece here. The little tabs goes into these holes. It doesn't matter which way. It only fits in one way. So you just line up the hole. It doesn't matter whether you turn it this way or that way. It doesn't matter. As long as you put it into that hole, that's fine. The next one is put this one. I'm do it this way. See how this one is bent this way? Since contact is here, so you're gonna if you look in here, there's a cutout here. That's where this cable, ribbon cable goes into. Okay. Right, so stick this thing straight down. It down. Okay. So now next step is before we do it, I'm gonna screw this one in. So put this plastic cover on. And the screw that I took out goes in there. And make sure it still pushes down in front. The next step is put this cable back in place. Sure, this locking tab is upward so the cable goes down all the way. There is a little cutout right here, so you can kind of push it down all the way. You have to pull this thing back up a lot of times, it goes down and we want to lock in place. So, once it's all the way down, you push this white piece all the way down to lock in place, nice and snug and nice and even, no spaces. So, you clean all these contacts, assuming you have done that, put this rubber contacts back in. Same thing over here, clean all these contacts that back in and this simply goes on like this okay this you don't have to worry about which way because it only fits in one way let's push it down like that okay so we got that cable back in place make sure this is straight this hooks in here and just simply push in and put four screws back in That's it. So if you have to transfer just this part over to new one, you just simply take four screws out, lift the entire top section out and switch over. Or if you want to rebuild, do like what I just did. All good to go.